We've gotten several uh, requests along the way in different situations asking uh, about books, my recommendation for books. And uh, this person uh, is a little bit more specific. Uh, says, I like to learn by reading as well as watching videos. And uh, would ask that I do a quick tip on books that would be relevant to the viewers of our channel. Perhaps you would choose some that you use as college textbooks in your teaching. Well, let's go by the book. I want to begin with what I'm most excited about today in the way of books. Uh, and the top one is by Richard Schmidt. The name is spelled Richard, traditional, S-C-H-M-I-D. Now, Schmidt has written a book called Alla Prima. I hope you're already familiar with it. And he subtitles it, Everything I Know About Painting and More. Now, Schmidt, as uh, some of you probably know, was one of our masters of uh, 20th and 21st century painting. And in this book, he's, he gives wisdom, he gives knowledge. It's packed full, jam-packed full of wisdom, of tre treasures, of ways to guide you. And I just want to sh or show you or share with you some of the things that he addresses in his own painting. And he starts out the, the whole thing, uh, the whole book, he starts out by uh, talking about his love of painting. And he goes into then starting his paintings or starting painting in general. He doesn't give you rules, but he talks about his process as his process and ideas to stimulate you. And his idea about painting is that something that you do from your heart as well as from your head. Can you see why I love him so much? And some of the other things he addresses here are drawing from life. He addresses values, edges, color and light. He goes into uh, color, uh, his color charts that he develops, uh, and that's a very interesting thing. Color harmony and so on. Painting from life, which was his very f favorite way of painting, it's pricey, but it's worth every penny. And so I think if your pennies are scarce, you might just save them for this little gem, this little treasure. It's my very favorite thing right now uh, that's available. And if somebody trumps it, it's gonna continue to be my favorite uh, book uh, about painting and one that I continue to recommend. Go, uh, the best price we found is on their website, Richard Schmid. Dot com. Richard Schmidt, of course, is no longer with us, but his daughter is continuing to keep his site going and his stuff available for us. So there's my top recommendation. One that is a close follower of that is one that's written by James Gurney called Color and Light. Now, Gurney explores everything that you can possibly think of about the characteristics and behavior of light and the characteristics and behavior of color. And to just give you some idea about what, uh, how he goes about doing that, he has his, uh, every topic is a single, a single page spread. Succinct, but packed full of information. And, and so it, it's really, really easy to uh, find your way through, or to use as a reference book, not just to read straight through. And both of these are wonderful for reference books, as well as just sitting down and reading straight through. So they are neither one the kind of book that you have to start at the beginning, read to the end in order to get the essence of the book, uh, but you can skip through from section to section and still be on target. 
and some of the some of the things that he addresses about color and light which you might find interesting color relationships um, visual perception light and form the elements of color things that I uh, relate to and um, I like the his approach to presenting these as both scientific information and artistic information and so there's my second recommendation James Gurney's Color and Light this one is available on Amazon but also from his website I think it's called just jamesgurney.com G-U-R-N-E-Y uh, you can google it and and find it now going back to what I used when I was teaching college in textbooks I just relied on the ones that uh, to begin with, now these, this is not exclusive, but the major uh, books I used in teaching college were those that I learned from when I was going through undergraduate and graduate school, the ones that made the strongest influence on me. And, and so I, they, oddly they're still in print, which is really a recommendation for their quality. One of those, which was a real uh, you might call it almost a Bible for me, an artistic Bible <laughs> for me, when I was in school as a student and also when I was teaching. Uh, it's called Art Fun Fundamentals Theory and Practice. It's in, in about its uh, 14th or 15th uh, edition now. So this one is a really, really solid one that addresses the same things that, you, that uh, Gurney and Schmid address, but in a more academic way, if you're more academic minded. But I think it gives you uh, a foundation in uh, more about the overall use of the artistic principles and techniques for, uh, for all the fields of art, historical, abstraction, all the abstraction and the emerging of the abstraction through the way, the various uh, ways that people are painting today. And so you can see the nature of art, form, line, shape, value, texture. Heard those words before? Takes the fundamentals, the elements individually and explores them uh, as far as how they work on the, on the two-dimensional surface that we use for painting. So there's that one, Art Fundamentals, Theory and Practice. Now there's another, I think there's another one on... Um, Amazon called Art Fundam Fundamentals that's not this book and that surprised me but this one's the authors are Ockvert, I think it's, it's pronounced I've never really known O-C-V-I-R-K Bone, Stenson, etc. And so check that out on Amazon as a good reference book for you uh, for how the whole composing process works. One of my very favorites when I was a student and also when I was teaching, and even to this day, is The Natural Way to Draw by Kimon Nicolaides. Uh, this is a, more about the process, learning how to see and how to make your hand follow what you see. It uh, goes in depth uh, with the whole processes of gesture drawing. And Nicolaides even gives you a program to follow, a very st uh, stringent program to follow. But it's one I think every painter uh, would, would benefit from having. Let me say it that way. So that's the natural way to draw. It's been in print for a long, long time. I think this was written before I was born, if that tells you anything. Or, or maybe published about that time. But uh, And still in print. Thank goodness it's still in print. Another one that I really refer to often. I've already worn out one of these wore the covers off of it and, and another one's well on its way and that's the Art and Visual Perception by Rudolf Arnheim called The Psychology of the Creative Eye and this is very academic but this this book helps you to understand how we see what the how the eye behaves and what we as painters can do in our canvases to guide how the eye behaves. It helps you to understand as it says, the psychology of the eye. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, still in print in about, oh, I don't know how many editions it's, it's gone through over the years. Uh, but Rudolf Arnheim, A-R-N-H-E-I-M, 
art in the visual perception. A little book that uh, has, has gone a long way with me, I think, uh, all the way from the time I was a student, is the art spirit. Now this, you see, the range of books I'm showing you are not technique books. They're not how to paint books. There are books about the essence of painting uh, and the essence of being an artist. And that's what this is about, called the art spirit. The guy's name is really Robert Henry. It is pronounced Henry, not Henri, as the French pronounce it. And it really is a little gem. It's, just, it's more uh, thoughtful and philosophical, but it, it uh, discusses other artists and the whole process of the spirit of art and the spirit of being an artist. And I guess I have to give my shameless plug. Uh, an another possibility would be mine, finding freedom to create. And what I was doing here was trying to approach the topic of the freedom, how we find the freedom without anxiety of being an artist, of being a painter, of expressing ourselves, and at the same time doing it with information, doing it informatively, not just deciding to be a painter and you're going to train yourself to be a painter and you're going to pick up paint and push the brush, but how can you inform yourself without making your work stiff? And how can you inform yourself about the processes of painting and still keep that freedom that you have as a child that I talk about sometimes. So those are my recommendations and I think they're worth every painter, every one of them, including mine, are, are worth every painter's attention. If you had those, all, all of those, uh, it's maybe, well, every one of them, I started to say the exception of the uh, art spirit, but yes, it too, are, are the kind of books that you can read straight through or you can just choose sections and study sections. So give some of those a try. Most of them, I think, all oh, maybe are available from Amazon. Uh, I know that the Amazon price is a little higher than the on the Richard Schmidt book than it is from his website. At least I've been told that by some of my students. But, you know, maybe just one at a time. Or even you might go to Abe Books, A-B-E books, uh, which is a used bookstore online, you might be able to find some of these there at a reduced price. But let's get booky. <laughs> let's, uh, let's reinforce our libraries and give ourselves some real substance to work with when we're expressing ourselves as painters. Be sure and view all of our quick tips. And while you're doing so, subscribe to the channel, click on the bell, so you'll always get a notice when we produce a new quick tip which is every week. And if you have a question, leave it in the comments section and we'll make a quick tip for you. Also, take a trip over to DianeMize.com where I have full-length lessons, downloads, DVDs, lots of other stuff there, some free stuff for you. And while you're there, you can subscribe to the newsletter and that way you'll always be informed every time we do something new.